Hey operators, welcome to RecipeCosting.com. In this video, we're going to create an Irish stew. This means we need to create a sub recipe, a recipe, and then we're going to create the actual menu item, which is also known as the plate cost. Then we're going to price it so we can take a look at the costing part of it and how profitable we are when we price it. So if this all sounds good to you and you're ready to go, let's get cooking. Okay operators, here we are in the dashboard. To get to the sub recipe page, we're going to go to production, sub recipe, and click the add button. This will bring us to the sub recipe detail page. Make sure you have the correct company selected, and then we're gonna give it a recipe or a sub recipe name. In this case, we're gonna call it lamb stock. I'm going to select a category called sauces. You can call it whatever you want. These drop down lists are dynamic, which allows you to create whatever names you want to create for your categories. We know at the very end, when I'm done with this stock, it's going to yield one gallon and I'm going to portion it as one gallon. I'm going to enter a price of zero prep time of 30 minutes and a cook time of 45 minutes. And the shelf life is going to last seven days. In this example we're going to ignore finished goods for now this will be in another video and we use cupcakes as an example but right now i want to add a picture of what the lamb stock would look like now let's start adding the items for the lamb stock so the first thing i need is lamb bones we'll select that item and i'm going to need five pounds so we have ounces here that's the smallest value right now and we're going to go to five pounds which gives me my cost my unit cost and uh, my overall cost and i'll save that and you'll see that's a hundred percent of this recipe so as i start to add other items this percentage will change and here i can add my notes the next item i want to add is garlic we're going to add three ounces and we're going to click the save button the next item on the list is onion yellow jumbo so let's go to onion and I'm going to need one and a half pounds so we're going to do 1.5 and that'll give me my cost and I'll save that and now you can see 95% is one ingredient and we're going to need two gallons of water so my biggest cost right now happens to be the lamb bones, which is correct. It's the most expensive item on this sub recipe. At this point, I can add labor one hour and the cost will be 20 dollars and i'm going to click check here and then here i can add my procedures once i've entered all of my preparations and procedures i can move up scroll up to the very top to take a look at what this cost is i'm going to call this sub recipe into one of my recipes the 41 dollars and 87 cents also includes 20 dollars worth of labor so if i were to look at this and i broke it out i could see that my food cost is really 21 dollars and 87 cents but as soon as i add the labor that significantly changes the cost of this recipe once you're done with the sub recipe we can save it and move right into the recipe part of the software and we're going to call this sub recipe into the recipe okay now let's take a look at our recipe page if you go to production and select recipe, this will bring up the recipe summary page. From here, we're gonna click the add button. As you scroll down, make sure you're in the right company and the correct location. Let's give it a name. We'll call this recipe lamb stew. We'll select a category and we're gonna enter the yield. In this case, when we're done, we're going to have three gallons and we're gonna portion this into 16 ounces. This will give us 24 portions when we're done. This means I can serve 24 servings to my customers we're going to ignore the price for now we're going to take a look at the price when we get to the menu item page and again we're just going to put in some random times just to get through this demo and we're also going to put in some shelf life so we'll say it lasts four days and once you've entered those details we can enter a picture of what the stew will look like you'll notice that entering recipes is very similar to sub recipes we're gonna enter each item, get our cost, and then at the very end, we're gonna take a look at our total cost. I will enter the rest of the items and we'll do it in a faster pace so you don't have to sit here and watch me enter each item. Now it's time to enter our sub recipe. So we'll select that from our list. 
We are going to enter two quarts. We'll click save and enter the rest of the items. Now that we have all our items in, we can start analyzing and taking a look at our cost and also taking a look at which items have the largest percentage of this recipe and which ones have the biggest cost. As we scroll up to take a look, we'll see that the actual recipe is $93.53 and each portion, because there are 24 portions, is gonna cost me about $3.90. Again, if you want to include your labor and your preparation procedures, I recommend that you enter those here. Save it so you can get a different cost. For example, your chef who's working on this, and you may even have a prep cook, spend an hour and a rough cost is about $25. Once you add this, this will definitely change the overall cost. It's almost $5 proportion when I include that labor. Once you're done with your sub recipe and your recipe, you're ready to plate it. So we're gonna create a menu item and we'll add maybe some bread with this stew to get an overall picture to see what this cost is in actuality. Okay, operators, we're finally here. Now it's time to plate our stew. This will go on our menu item and it's very simple to get here. You're going to go to production menu items, click the add button like you did with your recipes and your sub recipes. And then we're going to enter this menu item detail page where we'll start entering the details of this menu item. The first thing we want to do is select a category. This is going to be part of my lunch menu. So I'll select lunch. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Irish stew and I'm not going to put a price yet because I'm not sure what the cost is. I'm also going to upload a picture so that my team understands what this plate should look like when it's being served to the customer. Now I'm ready to enter the items for this stew. I'm going to call up that recipe that we created um, earlier in the video, which was lamb stew, not lamb stock. Lamb stock was our sub recipe that lives within our recipe and lamb stew is the actual recipe that we're going to start plating. So I'll select the lamb stew and we're going to give eight ounces of the lamb stew and we're going to add bread to this. It's not a good stew without any bread. So let's select the sourdough and we're going to give them one round of the sourdough. So that's going to give me a cost at about $4.26. I'm going to enter $12.50 and if I scroll down, now you're going to get an idea. So I have a 34% food cost and the only way to remedy this is to get either less expensive items or I can charge a little bit more to bring down the actual food cost but remember the reason it's a little high is because we entered our labor so we entered the chef on the recipe level and on the sub recipe level this is the power of the software and imagine how many levels deep you can go with our software when you have multiple sub recipes and recipes within each other and then you're creating an actual menu item from those recipes and sub recipes really allows you to get down to the cost and gives you a better understanding on how to price your menu items. If this sounds good to you, then I encourage you to sign up for a free 30 day trial, no credit card required and go through the process. Add a few items, create a few sub recipes and recipes, plate them by creating menu items and take a look at your cost. Make sure you're pricing it correctly. Thanks for watching.